Hi and welcome to the Low Level Devil Channel. In this Linux systems programming series I'm going to be going into detail on some of the shared functions I'm creating for other video series. In this specific video I'm going to be showing how to download files over HTTP or HTTPS using libcurl. So let's get started. I'm going to start by including the file curl slash curl and likely you don't have this file on your system or you might but uh, if not you your uh, distribution should be able to have it so for me a sudo apt install libcurl-dev it looks like uh, this is the package so libcurl4 dash open ssl dash dev um, now I have that one already installed but on if you're using a Debian based OS then that should work for you otherwise you should know how to find that if you can't figure it out just post in the comments I can probably show you how to do it if you if you don't know so I'm just gonna include a couple more headers here some of the standard ones std and std bool and uni std so I'm creating a simple function download file which takes a URL and a file name so it's going to download that URL to that file name so to start out I'm creating a status variable success equals true now we need to create a curl handle and I'm going to make the call to curl underscore easy underscore init that is the function for initializing curl and then there's a curl easy set opt for setting options and for this the first parameter is the handle there's a couple different options I'm going to set first of course you need to set the URL so I'm curl opt underscore URL let me just copy and paste this and make it quicker so the next option is going to be curl opt verbose by default verbose is on and I don't want to see all the curl output you'll get the same output as if you ran curl on the command line same with the progress bar which I don't want so I'm going to say no progress is one we'll have our own simple progress bar and follow location as one because if it's if you get like the 302 where it's moved to another location you want it to automatically follow where it goes and then write function this is an important one because whenever it writes data it will call this callback function which we're going to need to create and fail on error I want it to fail when there's an error because by default it actually says it was successful even though there was an error not sure why but that's the behavior so again that write data is going to be a callback that we're creating ourselves so the first thing I'm going to do after that is just open that destination file so we'll use f open for that and let's see so if if page file so if it's successful or actually maybe I want to make that if it wasn't successful so if it failed to open the file then we know there was some error and we can let's say p error fail to open download file and then just return false okay yeah and yeah we want to actually call curl easy cleanup as well because that will clean up all the handles that curl creates internally and pass in the curl handle okay so next let's see we'll create this uh, DL status structure which I'm going to define myself up here this is going to be our uh, well, I'll use type def struct this is going to be our status uh, uh, structure so it's going to have the file pointer and then the total bytes downloaded calling that DL status that's going to get passed in to curl as well so to start out with we want to initialize some of these those values we'll say the DL total is 0 and the F yeah FP is our page file okay 
so now we want to call curl easy set opt again because we want to be able to pass our the pointer to our status uh, field in there so curl opt write data is the status if you don't pass this in by default the write data is actually the file stream itself but I want to be able to keep track of how many bytes were written as well now next I'm going to do a for loop five times so it's going to retry five times one thing I've noticed especially when you're getting source code and different things like that a, a lot of times it's going to fail several times so it, it could be uh, just to say that you, you've been downloading this file very many times during the past hour it thinks you might be abusing it so it'll just fail occasionally for you So inside here, we're going to run curl easy perform, which is going to perform the HTTP option or the HTTP action. So if that returns a non-zero value, success is false. And I'll say, let's say we a failure on try number percent D because we're going to retry five times. So. see we could probably continue here or let's see okay yeah I'm not going to continue here I'm going to actually just underneath of here I'm going to put it else success equals true then here if success I want to break so we're done with the retry loop and then I'm going to sleep for one second because it seems if you just re-hit this exact same one, a lot of times it'll retry using the same mirror. So if that mirror is down, it's it's gonna always be down. So if you wait a second, you'll usually end up getting a different mirror. Okay, so th then after that's finished, I'm gonna close that page file. And if not success, I wanna actually delete that file too. So I'll delete the file name. Because we created up there with the F open. I don't want these dead files laying around. And then let's see. So now I'm gonna pr print a slash in, a return, and that's because in our write data function we're gonna be writing data but not putting a return on it. I'll I'll go over that in some detail here. So this is the structure of that write data function. So it returns a size t, takes an avoid pointer with that's the data size, a number of members, and a stream. And the stream is actually that structure type that we passed in. Otherwise, it w if we didn't pass it in again, it would have been a file pointer stream. So we'll say deal status. We can just, yeah, just say stream. Okay, so yeah, that's the stream value passed into write data because we used that as write data. Okay. All right, so now we can say size t written equals f write and. We want to use the pointer, size, num members, and then status fp for the file pointer. That's the file that we're writing to. And we'll update our dl total plus equals written. So now we can print out some data. I'm going to use slash r. Slash r is going to return us to the beginning of the line. And then I'll say percent ld. KB, and then I'm going to do a bunch of spaces. That'll that's because that'll just kind of overwrite any data on the line with spaces, you know, as it uh, gets smaller. So now we'll do status DL total divided by 1024. So this should have a running set showing us how many bytes were written. And since we don't use a slash in, I'm going to call f flush std out. 
because sometimes the flushing doesn't really happen until you do a return and then returning the bytes written that's pretty much there all there is to downloading a file with curl let's make a little test function here so I'm gonna just create an int main and we'll test downloading some files so let's see to start with create a bool dl equals download file and for the first one I, I want to just download a file that I know doesn't exist just so we can test the error condition so google.com slash bad file dot text pretty sure that does not exist so that should give us an HTTP error and I'll print out saying downloading bad file So then we print out the status of it, I suppose. Say first download success and then percent %d. So it should be zero for false. Now let's download another file. For this one I'm going to use a file that I know exists. Uh, I'll use the glibc source file glibc sources. I'm going to save that as glibc.txc. And you can put a full path in here as well. It's just, you know, um, but I'm using this because it's all relative path. So now I'll print out some downloading glibc source. And I'll print out the success for the second download so this one should be one because that file I know does exist okay and if we look at the files that I have here you can see neither of those glibc or bad file.txt exist so now I'll just run GCC oh and so if I just try to download uh, compile that C file you notice we have all these different undefined references that's because we have to link it to libc libcurl sorry so just add dash l curl so that links it to libcurl so now I can see I'm running it failure on try one two three four five and download success is ten that doesn't sound right but now you can see our KB is being written to the see it's writing it as it does it um, second download success 10 yeah it looks like we forgot to return so in our download file function we need to actually return success all right so let's clear that again you can see our glibc file is there so I can just use tar tf to print its contents and you see it's all in there let me just remove that I'm gonna rebuild so again GCC download dot C dash L curl and run a dot out failure I'll try one two three four five and it returned zero success is false now it's again downloading the glibc source and as you can see it's going back to the beginning of the line each time so that's our simple little status update and second download success okay and there you have it our glibc file again again if I tar tf you see all the file contents is there so I, I think that was a good enough introduction to it um, so again I hope you enjoyed this video and learned something from it if so please share it like comment subscribe and all that and thanks for watching